Hi all and uh, welcome back. In today's session, we'll be looking at how to generate HTML reports using SOAP UI free version. So in order to demonstrate, uh, I've already created a sample REST project. So if you want to understand like, how to create a uh, REST project and how to test your REST APIs, uh, feel free to look at my previous uh, videos on the same. And uh, for today's session, so I'll be just focusing on generating uh, HTML reports and let's get into that. So first of all, uh, let me just quickly run this test case. So as you can see, like uh, we have one test step, so which has already been executed and uh, let's uh, look at the result. So th this is my request uh, and uh, I will be getting a JSON response and here it is. So this is the response. So I'll be considering this sample uh, and I'll showcase like how to generate HTML reports. First of all, okay, so let's see like uh, the default uh, reports generated by SOAP UI free version, right? So for that, so just click on case and launch test runner. So here, as you can see, the selected test suite is uh, REQ RES test suite, so which is the current uh, test suite which I am executing at and in the test cases, uh, like it's user test case. Right, so either you can choose if, if you have multiple test cases, so just uh, so you can select the appropriate one or you can select all. And here is the here is my test runner path basically, it's pointing towards your SOAP installation directory. And if you go at reports, so we have the sprint summary report on the console option and export results to JN style report. So I checked all, so let me check this also, so which says exports all results, not only errors. Okay, and this is my root folder where the reports will be generated. So I'm just clicking on launch. So before that, let me show you the report directory as well. As you can see, currently it's an empty folder, right? So let me just execute this, I'll click on launch button. Okay, so the execution has finished successfully and this is the print summary, I mean uh, the summary report, right? So uh, the first option. So the console has printed the uh, test runner summary. So here it is. And let's take a look at the report uh, generated by the test runner. So as you can see, uh, like uh, Sophia has generated a JN style report, but again, it's in XML format. And we have also a test case uh, text document. So if you look at, so it has a uh, summary of your execution, right? So along with your request and response. So this is your request. Uh, here it is, request section, and uh, here is your response. Okay, so this is the default report which has been generated by SOAP UI, right? So now let's focus on or let's see like how HTML reports can be generated. So for that, all you need is and build tool. Okay, and uh, we'll be running this same, the test runner uh, from command line. So let's close this. Uh, close this as well. Okay, so in order to install and right, so just go to this uh, URL and download the latest binary version. So it's ant.apache.org. So I've already downloaded it on uh, my end and I've also configured it. So it's a zip file, you just unzip it and uh, place it in C or D drive, whichever you are comfortable with. And then now uh, you have to set up the environment variables. So right click on your computer and then click on properties. Go to advanced system settings. Click on environment variables and this is the system variable which you need to set ant underscore home and provide the root folder of your ant installation and then add it in path variable. Something like this C ant and followed by bin directory. Now we will be writing an XML file which is build.xml uh, basically uses or it's a set of instructions given to and tool like what what are the tasks that needs to be performed. Right, so let me just open a sample build, full, uh, build file which is already created. So uh, here if you look at uh, we have two targets one is on uh, target name as SOAP UI 
and the other target name is test report. So in this OPI, we are just using the same uh, command line uh, with the help of test runner. We will be running the so OPI uh, test suite or test cases, right? So uh, here we are giving the executable path, which is nothing but your so OPI uh, test runner batch file. Okay, so along with that, we are passing these arguments. Iphone J, which again, uh, 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 we are letting the test runner or the batch file uh, know that like we wanted to generate uh, JN style reports, which is nothing but your XML file report. And iPhone F specifies the destination folder where the reports would be generated. So uh, for, for this example, I have given it as uh, NC, like uh, the folder name as OPI reports. And this is the same uh, request response uh, test shoot, so which would be running from command line. Right, so if you look at uh, this is the same REQ RES test suite. And the second, uh, talking about the second target or uh, the task is test report, which depends on SOAP. So that means like the uh, test runner batch file, batch command has to be executed first and then followed by the JNIT report uh, conversions or beautifications will be done with this task. So we, we, for this, we are calling the target name as test report. And here we have added uh, the JNIT report uh, default and plugin. So where we are uh, using the directory series OPI reports where the uh, XML files will be generated. And then uh, in the file, uh, what we are saying here is like include all the files which starts with test. Okay, test iPhone. It can be any XML files, any number of XML files. We are, all we are saying is to include because again, these are the XML files generated by your SOAPI uh, when you are executing it from command line, right? So uh, there might be a scenario where you are executing complete project or it might be a uh, test suite or at individual test class level, which in turn would result multiple uh, unit XML files or test report files. So, and then uh, we are saying, okay, you copy the style directory, use the style directory to generate HTML report, which is of having no frames format, right? So, and we are placing the generated HTML report in C C OPI report slash HTML folder. So, let me just showcase you this folder as well. Let me just open it. So right now, if you see, it's all empty, and I will talk about this in my next section. Uh, so I'm not using this. So all I'm using is uh, the style sheet from this part. So by default, you will be having this uh, style sheet, uh, sheet in the end installation directory, and you can find it here. So from JNIT per se, so we have this uh, JNIT frames and JNIT no frames. So I'll be showcasing the both, like what what is the difference and uh, what kind of uh, Reports will be uh, generated. We are able to generate when we are using these two formats, right? So first, first of all, let's use no frames. Okay, and let's see like how the report is being generated. So for uh, for this, like now the build out XML, like we are configured and uh, uh, this OPI project is all set. And okay, so now let's uh, just run this from the command line. Okay, so you know, let me just invoke the command prompt. So I will I'll navigate to the workspace location. Right, so this is where my test shoot uh, is located at, right? See, so pure workspace. So uh, I'm already into that folder, and this is where my build.xml file is also being located. So let me just show you this. So this is the build file which I will be referring to. It's the same. Now all I have to do is just type, simply type and and the target name. So which is in this case it's test report. I cannot give SOAPI because again uh, SOAPI I can still give but it will just uh, run it from the command prompt. Okay, so it will just run the test runner and we will not be able to see the HTML report. So instead of that, I will give the final target, which is test report. This in turn will uh, trigger SOAPI target and it will execute this line and then followed by the HTML report will be generated. Okay, so let me give uh, test report. So simple, so you just type and and the target name. Okay, so I'm uh, entering it. 
so now as you can see like the first target right so SOPI has been triggered and it's getting executed oh yeah so the test report uh, target has also been processed so let's take a look at the commands which it has executed right so the first it gets invoked the test case runner and uh, your test suite would be executed followed by the reporting part so here as i said like i am referring the style sheet from ant location so which is under ant etc folder and i'm using no jnit no frames right so this is where my html report is generated so let's take a look here it is so let me open it the uh, chrome browser See, as you can see, like uh, we have just executed the SOPI test suite from command line using test runner and uh, the JUnit report has been generated. So now in order to, okay, so this is about uh, generating in no, no frames, right? So let me just change it uh, with frames and let's see like how the report gets generated. So before that, let me just delete this report. Right. Oh, anyways, I'm going to generate a new report. So the, the change, what I will be doing is, uh, all I have to do is just change it to with frames in the report format. Right. So let me just click on save, and I'll go back to command. So let me clear it for you. I'll be running the same command again, and space test report. Okay, so the JNIT report has been generated. So let's take a look. Here it is. So let me open it uh, Chrome. As you can see, like uh, here, uh, the HTML report generated is uh, with frames where you can see multiple HTML files been generated. Right? Yeah, so, so this, this is how like, you would be able to generate HTML reports uh, using SOAP UI free version. So in, in my upcoming video, so we'll be looking at like how to customize the generated HTML reports and I will be using uh, no frames. Okay, so I'll not be using with frames. So I will be re referring to the single HTML file and let's look how, how it can be customized further. Okay, so if you like my videos, then feel free to share it with your friends, uh, like it and then subscribe. That's all for today. Thank you.